Hello everyone, it is January the 30th, 2016. This article taken from The Telegraph. Pope Francis to meet Google's Eric Schmidt at Vatican. This is dated today, Saturday the 30th of January 2016. Pope Francis admits, who admits he does not own a computer, will meet with the tech entrepreneur on Friday. Well, one must ask themselves, why is the Pope meeting with Google? Answer, to spy on you, to get all of your information, to know everything that you're doing every minute of the day, what websites you go to, what interests you have, where you spend your money, what are you buying, all in an effort to gain control over every single person on the earth. Let's not forget how much worth and assets the Vatican holds, billions and billions of dollars. Why do you think this Pope and many other Popes before him have had such political pull? Do you know that our Constitution forbids mixing politics and religion together? Yet this Pope was allowed to come and speak to Congress back in September, speak in front of the UN, although the UN is, well, the UN, and talk, have a private meeting with President Obama, strictly forbidden in the US Constitution, the mixing of politics and religion, favoring one religion over another. Well, we don't have a constitution anymore. Ugh, he makes me sick. Eric Schmidt, the billionaire Google entrepreneur, is to meet Pope Francis at the Vatican on Friday in a rare meeting of big business with the head of the Catholic Church, according to reports. Mr. Schmidt, an executive chairman of Alphabet, which encompasses 26 companies, including Google, YouTube, and Drone Delivery Service Wing, will have a 15-minute audience with the pontiff, The Guardian reported. Well, that should be scary right there. Google plus YouTube plus Drone Delivery Service Wing. Those three together. What does that tell you? Pope Francis has been outspoken in his criticism of capitalism and inequality and during his visit to the U.S. in September made a point of visiting immigrant charities rather than business organizations. Well, I have an idea. Why don't you give away all of the church's assets? Give them all away to charity. Open up the vaults and give all of the money away. You know that's never going to happen. He has admitted to not owning a computer, yet he is certainly aware of the power of technology. Oh boy, look at him. Eric Schmidt. Look at that schmirk on his face. The internet, he once said, is a gift from God because of its ability to offer immense possibilities for encounter and solidarity. Yeah, but whose encounter and whose solidarity? And the internet is not a gift from God. The internet was invented by man, mankind. Mr. Schmidt is becoming increasingly known for his political activism, being a key supporter of President Barack Obama and his interesting travels and encounters. On June 2014, he went on a pioneering trip to Cuba to explore business opportunities, six months before Mr. Obama announced the restoration of diplomatic relations. These guys are all in bed with each other. In June, uh, let's see, in 2013, Mr. Schmidt and his daughter Sophie traveled to Northern Korea, an experience she described as very, very strange. He also went to Burma to discuss opening up access to the Internet. Oh boy, look at this. Aren't you sickened by this? Aren't you just sick? this fake religion, this pomp and circumstance, this sickening amounts of money that this church has racked with pedophilia, covering up, covering up the sins of the church. I'm sick of it. Last week, senior White House officials and U.S. intelligence officers met Silicon Valley executives 
and a new drive to tackle the use of social media by militant groups. The following the meeting followed the recent attacks in Paris and San Bernardino, California that focused increased attention on the role played by social media such as Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Well, you know what? I just read an article about uh, the head of Facebook, Zuckerberg. It's like in the top ten richest people on the earth, billions of dollars. There's a reason why these things are so popular. There's a reason why there's so much money involved because they're spying on everybody. It's massive, massive data collection on every single thing that we're doing. Nothing is sacred and private anymore. It's disgusting. How do you hide from all of this surveillance? Where can you go where there's, where there's peace and safety and, and privacy? Nowhere. Nowhere. Be careful what you post, people. It's hard to get information out without posting it. But it may come back to bite us in the, in the butt. Have a great day, everyone.